Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Prajapati and in this video I will be talking about what is the difference between create temp view and create global temp view. Moving forward, I would like to introduce my channel that is Geek Coders and here you can find out videos on Azure Data Factory, Spark, Databricks, SQL and so on. If you are interested, you can go and watch it out. If you find it helpful, you can share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited. So I will open my notepad. Here we will see I have written the steps or the, the tutorial which I will be telling you in this video. So we will be seeing what is create or replace temp view. How can we create it? Then we will see create temp view then create or replace global temp view and then create global temp view so these both are same thing okay the difference is replace so when we do create or replace temp view it will automatically delete uh, a view if it is present and it will create a new one if we use this then we need to first drop the view or to encode the view then we can create a new one otherwise it will to an error okay likewise this also same okay now if i go to the view definition view construct a virtual table that has no physical data okay it is pointing to some other place right so what is create or replace temp view it is a session based and it is saved in default database in the databricks and if we talk about create or replace global temp view it is not session based it is saved in global temp database so we will do a practical now so for that i am going to my databricks and here we have a data frame okay what if if i write create or replace temp view and i will give this test I will run it. It's done. Now what I will do, I will write a SQL statement that is select yeah, select star from test. If I run it, it will give me the records. Okay. It is called create or replace temp view. If you can see here, I haven't used any database name here okay so it gets stored in the default database what if if i remove this create or is word and if i run this throw an error saying temporary view test already exists okay so this is the difference between that so if you want to use this you want you have to drop a view and, and then you can use it now i will do this undo and run it again and run this again now we will see what does create temp or global view means okay so for that what i will do i will write df dot create or or replace global temp view and i will pass testing underscore global test underscore global and i will run it then i do the same thing sql select star from test underscore global if i run this query it will give a error it is saying test global test underscore global is not found so what i have to do i have to use a global let's go test database not test it's temp yeah that's done okay so what i will so i said you in the notepad that you know it is session based and it is not session based we have seen this point it is saved in default database and it is saved in global underscore temp database but we haven't seen this scenario okay so what i will do I have uh, another notebook okay on the same server and I am using the same cluster so what if if I uh, try to use 
a test uh, view. Let's see will it work or not. It will give me uh, saying that table of view not found. But if I run the same thing here, it will run because the session of this notebook and the session of this notebook is different. But instead, if I try to run a global temp view in the next uh, notebook, it will give me the result because it is not session based. So if I, so, okay, this is the first part. What if, if I detach or attach my cluster, if I detach and detach, and if I try to run a select star from test, that is a temporary view, it will throw an error saying that table of view is not found because the session of this has been changed or has been dropped. So, but instead, if I run a global temp view, it will not, it will give me the result because it is not a one session based. Okay. Until unless I uh, shut down my cluster or start my cluster, we will give, we will get this uh, uh, result. Okay. What if, if I try to run uh, a global temp view here, it will also give me the proper result. Okay. So that's it for today's video. I hope you have liked the video and if you do, do subscribe and share.